Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. In today's video, we'll be featuring Edouard's 148 scale Spitfire Mark 9C Early Profi Pack Edition. This is Edouard kit number 8282. In this video, I'm going to be making an argument for why I think that the Edouard Spitfire line of kits are some of the best model kits that I've ever built. And if you agree with me or disagree with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Now, before we get into this, I just want to make a couple of clarifications. First, when I say best, I don't mean this is my favorite model kit ever. I don't mean that this is the easiest model kit that I've ever built. I'm not saying that this kit is perfect, nor am I saying that this kit would be the best model kit for every modeler out there. While I've built lots of kits over my modeling career, there are probably thousands of kits that I have not built yet. And so I can't speak to the quality of those kits. So what do I mean when I say that the Edward 148 scale Spitfire Mark 9 Profi Pack is the best model kit that I've ever built? Well, I mean that in terms of production design, in terms of fit, in terms of surface detail, in terms of interior detail on the finished kit, in terms of detail on the small parts, in terms of instructions, in terms of decals, in terms of accuracy, and in terms of overall end result, this kit is just a stunning example of the kit manufacturer's art. I've completed two of the Edward Spitfires to date, and they both turned out fabulously. I also have two more in process, so I'm quite familiar with this line of kits. Looking at the interior of this kit, what comes in the box is quite comprehensive. The plastic parts are very well molded, and the fit on everything is very good if you take your time and you clean up the seams on all of the parts. One nice addition to the Profipack kits is the photo etch fret, and that includes seat belts. It also includes the instrument panel. It also includes the armor plating for the pilot seat and some wheel covers. And the nice thing is there are plastic parts to replace these if you are not comfortable with using photo etched parts. I'm extremely happy with the level of detail on the interior parts, and I don't think aftermarket parts would really improve any of the detail that's already included. The instructions for this kit are printed in a large instruction booklet. It has very clear construction diagrams and an assembly sequence, and that's a good thing since this kit is quite parts heavy. My only critique of this kit is that oftentimes Edouard uses three parts where only one part is necessary. And so for the control column, for instance, that is a multi-piece affair, and that probably could have been molded as a single piece. As we move on to the construction of the rest of the airframe, the fit is extremely precise, and if you take your time and clean up all of the flash around the parts, you will end up with a very, very precise, excellent fit, and there will be no filler needed on this build. And there are no problem areas per se to watch out for. You just need to take your time in the construction sequence. Looking at the surface detail on the exterior of the kit, this is some of the finest engraving that I've seen as far as rivet detail. This is also some of the most extensive rivet detail that I've seen on a kit, but it's so fine that it does not look overdone in scale. And I just think the surface detailing on this kit is world class. Looking at the underside of the kit, the fit on the radiators was excellent. The detail there is extremely nice. And again, surface detail here is fabulous. My only gripe here is the same one I had with the interior, and that is Edouard uses multiple parts where a single part would probably do the trick just fine. This just means extra steps in cleanup and assembly for the modeler. The landing gear on this kit turned out very nicely. I had no problems getting the correct angle on the landing gear, and the detail on the gear and the gear doors looks excellent. The clear parts on this kit were also a highlight. Not only are they thin and transparent, but the framing on them is very fine. And with the Profi Pack Edition, the nice thing is you get a set of canopy masks for those that make masking the canopy very easy. Looking at the painting and marking options for this kit, there are five marking options included in the kit. You get a nice full color, four view marking diagram for each of the marking options. Looking at the decals themselves, these went down beautifully. They settled down even into the finest of the rivet detail. They were thin, 
they were opaque, they're in register, and honestly these are some of the best decals that I've used to date. They're also very comprehensive on the stenciling, and they look great on the finished kit. One nice feature is that with all of the marking options, you will have plenty of great quality decals left over for other kits if you want to use the decals on those. There are also lots of parts left over from this build, including an entire wing with the lower surfaces and the upper surfaces. There are also different tail assembly options with elevators and rudders and tail planes that will be left over that you can use on different versions of the aircraft. I've even used some of these parts to dress up Spitfire kits from other manufacturers. So there you have it. With excellent surface detail, with excellent detail on the interior of the kit, with beautiful instructions, with incredible detail on the detail parts of the kit, with high quality pre-painted photo etch parts, and some of the best decals I've ever used, this Spitfire kit from Edouard is hard to beat. This is not the easiest kit I've built, and this kit does require patience in the assembly process. It does require precision in the parts cleanup, but the end result is museum quality, and this kit looks great on the shelf. There are really no aspects of this kit that, when I look at it on the shelf, I think, oh, that's a nice kit, but this thing just turned out beautifully. Like I say, I've built two of these already, and I've got two more in process, and these things turn out so nicely that they are a joy to build and weather and finish. And it's why these Spitfire kits from Edouard get my vote for the best model kit that I've built to date. Well, I'd love to know what you guys think. Just because this kit is the best kit for me does not mean it's the best kit for you. I'm sure there are lots of opinions on the best model kit that you have built. If you would like to nominate another kit for best model kit that you've ever built, please feel free to share in the comment section below. And also feel free to share why you think that kit is the best kit you've ever built. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. And until next time, model on.